Hey everyone, Kevin here, and thanks for watching The Bottom Line. As you can tell, this episode is going to be a little bit different as we're at an actual event, uh, which has been a rare thing in 2020. Uh, but we're here at uh, Dino's Get Down, and uh, we're going to check out the uh, top uh, custom Chevy trucks um, that we caught here. All right, so we're here with uh, Chad Goswick, and he has a uh, 62 GMC. Yeah, it's not a Chevy, but, you know, very similar anyways. Um, so it makes our list. And uh, we actually shot this truck back at uh, LST, which uh, before everything happened, uh, when we actually had events. But uh, we got Chad here. And uh, tell me a little bit more about your truck. I know we got the stance and everything, and you got a big motor, but uh, tell me some of the details. All right, so yeah, like uh, Kevin said, we did make the journey to LST. That was his first uh, maiden voyage. Uh, 2,000 miles round trip. Uh, yeah, and I think I think um, you actually drove the truck there. I did. And I think through all weather, um, rain, and, and everything that goes on with going, uh, you know, across states. <laughs> Absolutely. So you mentioned the motor, so we'll get right to that. It's a big block, Edelbrock carb, super basic, no power uh, brakes, no power steering. It does have a rack uh, and a bare brake booster. Uh, chassis work is uh, built by Brooks, so it's all custom one-off, and it has uh, still has X-frame in the middle, which was unique to the '60 to '62 uh, Chevy trucks. Now, uh, what do you got for these rollers? These are uh, GM Transit Wheels 22s, uh, rolling on the Nitto 420s's. Awesome, love them. Quiet, smooth. Wouldn't wouldn't run anything else. Then to keep track of everything, I don't know if you want to. Up in there, we got the Dakota Digital gauges with the Pro Performance GMC adapter. So for you GMC guys out there that want to run digital gauges right there. AccuAir controls the ride height. Uh, the back uh, VT tank with uh, two Viar compressors and all the uh, line works by uh, Jason over at Arizona High Test. Yeah, and I think uh, some of the reason why we actually like this truck uh, so much is that it is a 62, uh, and he's had uh, a, a different chassis than most guys do with C10s, uh, so it's a, li a little bit more difficult uh, to deal with, and he's did an amazing job. So thanks for showing us around, Chad. Thank All right, you. thanks for having me. So another one on our list is this uh, 55 Crew Cab uh, that was built by Pure Metalworks. Um, earlier well actually last year it debuted at SEMA but uh, it makes our list because I mean it's still pretty fresh um, but we're here with uh, Dan and he built the truck and he could tell us a little bit more about it how's it going guys we so right here we have a 55 Chevy crew cab um, this is it's it's something totally unique totally different we have a diesel platform we have a GSI chassis we got race line wheels it's all we've got the heavy duty front clip which is flared we have we flared the bed to match We've done everything we possibly could to this thing to make it over the top, make it a little bit different. Yeah, and what I like about this truck is that it's very unique. Uh, crew cabs are uh, something very, very rare. I don't think, GM didn't make one of these, right? GM did not um, make one of these. So they, uh, it was a, another company that, that made them uh, way back in the day. But uh, Dan is actually, what he did is, you know, he found a couple of them uh, and restored it, uh, put his custom touches on it and everything, and made this uh, creation, which you see here. And it's absolutely gorgeous. It's absolutely, uh, like one of my top trucks, I would say all of this year, uh, being around shooting and knowing Dan and just uh, getting involved with it a little bit more. But uh, tell me a little bit about uh, some of the work that had to happen with this and uh, maybe some of the other custom stuff like a chassis. You probably, okay. it probably had to be like one off or something it like that. It was one off, yep. So the cab was an actual four door truck. So we had, it was very crudely done. So we had to redo a lot of it, redo a lot of the sheet metal, make it all, get rid of the rust. We put the heavy duty front clip, we widened the bed. Like it's got a GSI fully built custom chassis. They built it to our specs. Um, we got a twin turbo Duramax diesel pushing about a thousand horsepower. We've got a custom bed floor. We've got 24 by 15 inch wide rear wheels. We've got a lot of unique touches on this thing. Yeah, and I think um, as I remember your story was that uh, you wanted to build a truck. Um, you had the idea of it. And, and nobody really had the funding. And I think you just kind of just went out and did it. Just, uh, you started your own shop or something like that. And then uh, just made it happen, right? Yep, yep, we started our own shop and we uh, we had plans to build this thing and we just, we never could do it from scratch. And then we found the four door cab and we really took off from that platform and it gave us the motivation and everything else we needed to get to push this truck and get it finished up. 
Yeah, well, it looks absolutely gorgeous, man. Um, like I said, it's, it's one of my favorites, like all time favorites, uh, just what you did. Um, not only necessarily everything that's, that's in it, but the fit and finish, everything to it. Um, it doesn't look like something that, you know, he just threw a bunch of parts at it or anything. It all flows together. And that's kind of a, a really big thing with trucks, but uh, thanks for uh, showing us around. So one of the other trucks that we liked was the 63 done by uh, uh, iCandy Paintworks. And actually uh, Frank, uh, the guy who runs iCandy, uh, it's actually his personal truck and he just finished it before the show. So uh, Frank, uh, tell us a little bit more about this truck. Uh, how did you uh, build it and what uh, kind of details it's got under it? Well, first and foremost, I had to get Trey Five involved. Um, we came up with a game plan as to what we wanted to do. Had to have some intro wheels on there. We did 22, 24 billet, sent all the billet, uh, sent all the suspension, uh, all the portable suspension, bumpers, sent it all out to Pat Coast Powder out in uh, California. They knocked it out of the park with some candy gold over some uh, chrome. Um, in the back, we did a tricky air bed cover, uh, which goes up and down, which can conceal the trunk or, you know, obviously expose the trunk if you want to come back here. The paint, the paint is uh, Sharon Williams Ultra 9K water base. And uh, on top of it's uh, six coats of House of Color Clear and just sanded and buffed, 1,000 grit up to uh, 2,000. Sweet, let's check out that trunk you were talking about. Yeah, yeah. So tricky airflow, it's set up on some shocks. Oh, sweet. So it's nice and concealed. Yep, you press yep. the button, nobody can yep. really get into that thing. Yep. So got uh, nice. four 13 and a half inch subwoofers here with the blow through inside the truck. Uh, and then back here in the very back. See, there's a trunk so we can bring, you know, hammock, chairs, anything like that to uh, to the event. We can hang out and enjoy the show. And what do you got under the hood? I, I think you got a, a good, nice engine under there, right? It's, yeah, it's a four cylinder. <laughs> four cylinder, right. <laughs> this guy. Yeah, we so decided not to be like everybody else and put an LS in there. So I went ahead and uh, prettied up the uh, big block that came with the truck when I purchased it and uh, hooked it up some Summit Racing parts and uh, Fit Tech and All American Billet. Again, some more uh, powder coating inside and uh, some finished flats uh, paint to match the interior, the TMI interior that's inside the truck. Sweet. Well, it looks good. Thanks for making the uh, showing us around Thank and everything. You, so Thank you. Appreciate Thank it. You. So another one on our list is this 49 Chevy that uh, the folks at uh, Switch Suspension built. And they're actually uh, local to this uh, Phoenix area where the get down is happening. And I like this truck because uh, it's got the right, uh, a nice stance to it. It's got some uh, steely wheels on it that just have a good classic look to it. And I think kind of represents what um, some of the people are doing nowadays. And uh, we got uh, Jason here, he's from uh, Switch. And uh, tell me a little bit about the chassis. I mean, I think it's uh, coilovers, right? Yeah, the chassis is a Roadster Shop uh, spec chassis. It's all coilover. Um, it's their, uh, I forget what they call it, but it's their extreme drop. It's their, their big drop. So uh, definitely sets the truck low to the ground, but the truck has really great steering, uh, handling, everything like that, When it even with this low stance. Yeah, and um, if you've uh, been familiar with some of my stuff or maybe read some of the stories online or anything, you talk a lot about, a little bit about, um, you know, coilovers and um, uh, how they uh, can ride pretty well. And uh, just, you know, some of the logistics of uh, modern chassis and how they can actually ride pretty well um, for these classic trucks and actually make them perform a little bit better. But uh, what are these rollers that you got on here? Um, I know they're not old school steelies, but uh, what are they? The wheels are from a company called US Wheel. Um, they're, they were a very, they're a nice wheel. They're a, just a steel smoothie. Um, they fit the look of the truck real well. The guys at US Wheel were really nice to deal with as far as getting the proper offsets and everything. Um, the Nitto tires, they ride really well on the truck. They give it a nice look. Having the white wall on them is just a kind of a cool extra. And like I said, overall for the look of the truck, I think they look great. Right. And um, so what do you got under the hood? I mean, what's powering this thing? I mean, it's an older truck and I mean, you got a lot of potential here. So uh, what do you got? What do we have under it? The truck is an LS1. Um, the the swap was done by Speed Sports out in Chandler and uh, it's basically a stock engine, but in this little truck, the it's like a little rocket. Uh, <laughs> runs great, drives great down the highway. A lot of, a lot of fun to drive. So as you can see, I mean, it's a, a totally well-rounded vehicle. Uh, it's got custom interior uh, inside as well that's been a bit uh, upgraded uh, with some nice stitching in there. Uh, 
it's been painted as well, a nice uh, hue of blue. Um, they don't have the details because another uh, the owner actually has all that. Um, but it made their list. Um, just a good looking truck and another great one here at Dino's. So this event is put on by Dino Batalana, and uh, he himself is obviously a big fan of Chevy trucks. And uh, one of the trucks that he built recently was this uh, step side here. And uh, we got the big man himself. Uh, you can tell us a little bit about this truck and why it's so special. Well, it's a 74 step side and of course it's a Chevy because that's all I roll with. Uh, it's built by Switch Suspension, which um, these guys are out of Phoenix and they build a lot of my trucks for me now. Um, it's really nice because this was the first LS that I did. So we did an LS3 supercharged with uh, Edelbrock's equipment and the thing's a bullet. So we got chopping block chassis, we got American racing wheels. I put a lot of really good parts on it and it's really a bullet. I mean, honestly, I don't think I'm old enough to drive it because I drive the wheels off it. And if you, <laughs> you have any Mustang or anything close to me, we're going to race. I can tell you that. So I, I've really had a good time. I had Dominic do the interior. It's got a it's got all JL audio interior uh, stereo in it. Um, it's Dakota gauges, so it's got it's got a lot of uh, really nice components on. Of course, Ride Tech. I don't do anything without those guys. So everything in this truck right here is it's kind of crazy. We called it the Black Widow only because not that it was black, but when I got the truck from Sam, it came with about 400 Black Widows. And I tell people this to this day, we still have Black Widows. So we called it the Black Widow. I don't normally lame my cars but this was a perfect name for it. So I ended up powder coating the whole truck and it's kind of unusual because I don't know many people who powder coated the whole truck, but it's a real cool durable finish and it was just something different that I wanted to do. So it's turned out really well. It's one of my favorite trucks. Man, well, I, hearing this, this spider uh, story, I'm just freaked out because I hate spiders. I'd hate to be driving this thing and, and all of a sudden a spider crawls on me or something like that. That would super freak me out. <laughs> uh, but I know you also got the panel truck here and that's like your OG ride. Oh, yeah. uh, tell me a little bit about that, uh, how that came about and everything. So the panel truck that's behind me, of course, I'm rocking those Nitto tires. I use Nittos on a lot of stuff and I actually like that tire. I like the, the fact that and I'm not just doing a shameless plug for Nitto. I just like the tire. It has a really good sidewall. It has a great tread that you can get in different sizes that match front to back. And I like that. So I stagger wheels all the time. Uh, the panel truck's been like old girlfriend. I mean, it's just been one of my favorite trucks for a really long time. Um, I got it about 35 years ago. It's one of the few trucks that I've had this long. Um, I actually started doing service in it a long time ago. And then it, it kind of went to an evolution. It's the first truck that we ever did the Porterbilt drop member cross member on. It's the truck that changed really honestly that front suspension. Well, he was the first guy who came up with this, uh, you know, suspension that now has come out to be uh, in, in a lot of different trucks. So, I mean, honestly, the truck is neat. I love it. I still love driving it. It's gnarly. It scares old ladies. It smells bad when you drive it because it smells like gas, but it's just one of my favorites. Sweet, sweet. Well, thanks for uh, giving us your time. I know, I know this uh, event's a little crazy, but uh, you got you're a little bit busy here. But uh, thanks, dude, and uh, oh, keep guys, building thanks. up, man. I love the truck. So, hey, and thanks for masking up, everybody. <laughs> we'll see you next year. Finishing off our list is this '56 Chevy behind me, and Premier Street Rod actually just debuted it for this show, and. Um, you might be familiar with them as uh, our first video we did with them at their shop and we also showed uh, one of their trucks called Snow White. Uh, but we have Ross here and he's uh, been working diligently on it. Uh, tell me a little bit more about this truck. Um, I think it had one of your uh, body kits, right? It, it did. Uh, so this thing is again like a lot of the last few that you've shot. Um, it's a 100% brand new truck. Uh, from ground up, not one piece is original. It's all aftermarket. It's all our stuff. Um, so starting with the chassis underneath of it, it we went with TSI or TCI on this one. Um, it's an air, it's the airbag edition, so it uh, has run the shock waves. Um, still rocking AccuAir, even though they're not around, it's still got the CVT tank in it. Um, this thing is powered by an LS3, 4075 trans, um, and just a very cleanly, cleanly detailed build. Yeah, and. Um the color is a little bit unique. Um, I know you guys do paint, but uh, what color is that? Uh, it's the question of the day, my friend. Everyone <laughs> has asked that question. What is that? What is that? So the next time you see a Honda Civic on the road, think of that. That is a Honda Civic. They call it Sonic Gray. Nice, nice. Yeah. Um, so we're trying and to make a Honda color look. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. I mean, you never know. You know, yeah. you can pull these colors and right. everything. But uh, I like how clean the truck is. I mean, I think you, also with the paint, you uh, put a little stripe on there. But whose idea was that? Was that kind of a last-minute thing? <laughs> yeah, or, uh... that was one of my last minutes. It was uh, <laughs> what Monday. So uh, 
five days ago we decided to yeah let's just cut the let's just cut the top down and let's put some decals on the top of it and uh ended up reclearing and polishing the thing back out and here it is sweet um i love the stance of it but uh what are the wheels what size are they and everything um what are the details on that uh they are budniks um that's typical hey, we're a good budnik uh believer on a, when it comes to our wheels uh it's a 20 by i want to say eight and a half in the front and a 22 by 11 in the rear and then um You've got uh, Nitto tires on this. I of believe course. there are Invos on there. Of so uh, the Invos actually have uh, uh, sizing that's good for uh, staggered fitments like that are on this truck. And um, they actually fit pretty well uh, and, and filling those gaps um, and basically, you know, um, making everything good, you know, have the sizing, uh, good traction, all that stuff. But uh, yeah. Uh, awesome looking truck. Thank um, you, thank thanks you. for uh, showing me around. Yeah. Uh, I know the owner's not around here, but uh, yeah. He, he's, uh, he actually seen it today for the first time and blew his mind, man. It was actually it was a super, super satisfying feeling to see a smile on his face after it was done. Yeah, and uh, so, I mean, once it's done, we're gonna shoot this thing, so you'll see it on the website and everything. So uh, be, uh, stay tuned for more on this thing. Um, can't wait to uh, actually photograph it because it looks uh, gorgeous. Thank you, Kevin. <laughs> so that's our list of trucks. I hope you enjoyed everything. Um, if you like this video, make sure you don't miss one by uh, hitting that subscribe button. Also giving us a like. Um, you like something on there that you want to get a little bit more information on maybe that we can uh, help out with, uh, drop a comment below and we'll catch you next time.